Hello friends, welcome back to Astro Science. My name is Gautam. I am the host for this channel and today we are going to discuss about the planet Saturn or Shani Dev. One of my favorite topic to discuss about and you might always be curious about lot of factors related to the planet Saturn or Shani because Saturn is always a favorite planet or a favorite uh, subject or a topic to discuss in the field of Jyotish or Astrology because Saturn is one of the most attractive planet. I remember I saw Saturn first time when it was in 2011 and till date whenever I see Saturn from telescope in the sky Saturn never disappoints. It's, it's so beautiful. The rings of Saturn is very very beautiful. So let's start with today's topic about what Saturn is. I'm going to reveal a lot of myths about this planet because typically a lot of astrologers do scare you or you might have already been scared about Saturn or you know Shani being coming in your life or Sade Sati. If yes then do watch this video till the end because I'm going to reveal some of the uh, facts which you might have not known about Sade Sati or Saturn. Firstly Saturn is a very very a uh, great planet, very positive planet. Uh, if Saturn is well placed in your chart, uh, if Saturn has a very good zodiac sign at what at a good degree in good nakshatra, definitely your success would be really, really good. Your success rate would be really high. Why? Because Saturn is the planet of karma. Saturn is also known as one of the greatest teacher because Saturn teaches you lessons under the Saturn's Antardasha or Mahadasha or during Saturn being transiting on your major important planets like planet of your career, planet of your relationship, marriage, then Saturn teaches you a lot of things. Saturn is one of the biggest teacher of your life basically. Secondly, uh, Saturn kind of always delays a lot of areas of your life. Like if Saturn becomes the planet of your career, then your career will rise and shine after 36th birthday. Why? Because every planet has an age of Bhagyode. Saturn's age is the age of 36. That's the rising time or you can say the prosperity time of Saturn. If Saturn is the planet of your marriage, there is very high chances that you will get married late. You will get married only and only after the 36th birthday of yours. Many of you might be thinking about, you know, during my consultation, I do tell that uh, your Bhagyaday time is 28, your Bhagyaday time is 32, your best time starts at 36. That depends upon, you know, what is the planet of what we are discussing and, you know, if we have already achieved that planet's age or not. But yeah, Saturn is Shani, Shani Devji or Saturn is one of the very most uh, auspicious planet. If it's well placed, you are going to get all the riches of your life if it's not in a good place or good good house or you know enemy sign then there would be a lot of struggles related to that house or that you know zodiac sign typically when i when i talk about saturn as a planet see saturn is very far away from sun the last planet in our vedic astrology the last planet in the solar system in the outer orbit the furthest away from sun and mythologically sun is the father and saturn is sun's uh, son Father and son, they kind of don't gel up very easily. They had relationship issues like Sun and Saturn in as per some mythological stories which we'll cover in some more videos. Saturn stays, tries to you know live aloof, try to go away from the social life which means Saturn is very shy. If Saturn is the planet of your nature or your conscious mind, you would be very introvert in your personality. You would be very less talkative person. You would not like socializing a lot with people you would always love to remain in your in your bedroom you know sitting on your uh, laptop and no socializing and stuff so that's that's where the saturn personality is if saturn is one of the more most uh, prominent planet in your chart then you will see these personality traits in in uh, your life now the biggest myth about what is sadi sati uh, and does that really work? The answer would be no. Uh, if you believe in Sade Sati, if you believe that, you know, seven and a half years of Saturn's time is that's going to ruin your life, that's the bad phase of your life, then do not worry. 
this video is going to be the relief of your life because frankly speaking friends uh, sade sati is a non scientific approach it's a non scientific theory uh, it's illogical that you know saturn transits over your natal moon that's where the sade sati starts right if saturn is a sign before the natal moon that's the two and a half years because saturn speed is very slow saturn takes uh, approximately around two and a half years to you know go from one zodiac sign to other zodiac sign in all saturn takes 30 years to complete one zodiac circle which means that if saturn starts the journey from aries to reach the 12th zodiac sign saturn is going to take 30 years of course why not because saturn is in the outer orbit and one of the slowest planet fastest being mercury and moon okay so sade sati means uh, two and a half years uh, before the natal moon zodiac sign two and a half years of when the saturn is transiting on the natal moon that's called as a peak of sade sati so my question is that moon stays in one zodiac sign for approximately two uh, and a quarter day so approximately two days it would be in the somewhere in the peak of that zodiac sign okay and in those two days there would be like millions of babies who are born okay your moon sign would be virgo and you know other millions of the babies who were born on the same day like you would also have the same moon sign virgo or maybe you know any other sign so if saturn is transiting will all those million babies have sade sati in life the answer is no that's the reason why this is a very vague concept this is see sade sati saturn oh you have shani you have this you have that you have kasar dosh you have mangal dosh all these concepts are man made they have been you know made by some astrologers in the last 80 to 90 years but yeah there it has no no significance at all no significance in in your life uh, sade sati doesn't mean that the seven and a half years you might not do anything that's that's not the bad phase of life uh, if you know your opportunities in life if you work really hard and if the mahadasha or the antadasha and the other transits of other planets are good definitely success is uh, at your doorstep and you will taste the success okay never be afraid about sade sati and any of those things my recommendation for people who have strong saturn in navamsha d9 or shashti ansha d60 uh, where you can you know analyze uh, the nature of personality uh, saturn if saturn is very kind of you know uh, weak in your chart the remedy would be start networking you are very shy you are very introvert start socializing slowly and steadily you might not be very good in public speaking so start practicing you know start working towards those uh, things if you see in your child's chart if saturn is more prominent uh, he or she might definitely be uh, lacking public speaking speaking in front of 10 people so personality might kind of lack there start you know working towards those areas for your kids or for for your family members okay that can really help a lot people with dominating saturn always uh, have thoughts with themselves they don't share their thoughts their thought process or their feelings so again my recommendation would be you know share your thoughts share your sorrows your joy happiness and that will kind of really help you in life uh, the health issues related to the planet saturn are uh, see saturn is a giant gas a planet with a lot of gases on it and the rings which you see of saturn is again gas so Typically, what we have analyzed is the health issue, the major health issue which Saturn, with people who have Saturn as their planet of health is more of gas, more of, uh, you know, uh, gastronomical or gas related, digestion related health issues. Saturn also uh, is the significator of joints. You might feel some joint pain, some knee pain, uh, arthritis, early age knee replacement is also governed by the planet saturn try to take care of bones try to you know have proper sunlight proper vitamin d calcium and you know these things can kind of really help your uh, health typically people with strong saturn they are very tall in their height 
and sometimes due to lack of ergonomic workstation they might feel some pains or some problems related to body or body posture like lower back pains or work life balance related problems so try to you know do exercises try to go for walk these are the tips which can really help you if saturn is the planet of your health the career options which strongly comes under saturn is job job and only job if saturn is the planet of your career then 60 to 65% you would be under someone's leadership you would love to do a job job versus business i would give more recommendation for uh doing job that that's that's where the forte for saturn is uh, because saturn cannot be bossy saturn cannot be the diplomatic or you know leadership uh certainly there would be some some businesses which comes under uh saturn some specific you know businesses but overall uh in terms of you know personality saturn would always uh be very monotonous in day to day work in their job more labor intensive work like you know saturn guys they really love more physical intensive work than just like 9 to 6 kind of a office or in front of computer and stuff that's where you know saturn's uh, overall career lies in you know they would really excel in the field of of uh, career if saturn is well placed uh, with other planets the person can literally become the ceo or you know the president of any organization that that's that's where uh, you can see that kind of a progress coming in from auspicious saturn takes you from rags to riches uh in terms of relationship marriage saturn is one of the most unromantic planet saturn doesn't know you know people with strong uh saturn in their chart they are not very charming or they might not be able to please uh, others because they try to be you know aloof they as i said they are very much shy introverts so they are also very much unromantic and saturn usually leads into some problems in marriage typically late marriage but once the marriage happens it's going to be a stable marriage okay uh the color of saturn are the color blue and the color black the auspicious uh, number for this planet is the number 8 uh, the direction for this planet is the direction south south is very auspicious for saturn if you have a strong saturn in your birth chart and if saturn is the planet of your career your education you will travel to some countries which are in the southern part of of uh, from where you live Saturn rules two zodiac signs which is the sign of Capricorn and the sign of Aquarius and Saturn finally Saturn has three nakshatras uh, Pushya Anuradha and Uttara Bhadrapada so these are the three nakshatras which Saturn really rules apart from this as i said uh, Saturn is one of the most auspicious planet and there is nothing negative about this you don't need to be worried about sare satti or shani dosh or you know all those illogical or non scientific uh concepts yep that's it that's all from my end for saturn thank you so much for watching this video if you really loved it comment below like it share it and if you haven't subscribed you know what you have to do thank you so much i'll see you next time with another new video on astro science goodbye